Hello, this is Greg Deckler, and welcome to Mushgookum, or Microsoft Hates Greg. Um, so, in this video, so, so far I've gone through and kind of done a rating on every um, every idea that had more votes than uh, fixing measure totals. And I've also done a video on uh, like a real-time rating of every... Um, wow, I can't even think of what it was. It was... Uh, it was um, Every planned idea, that was it. <laughs> and totally lost it there for a minute. So in this video, I thought I'd go through and say and go through and say, okay, let's take a look at all the completed ideas uh, that are on Power BI. There's about three, uh, I think there's like, I don't know, a thousand of them or something like that. Uh, there's quite a few. I've got them listed over here. And it was like a thousand three hundred or something like that when you get all all down to it. Um, so that's a lot to get through, but we're gonna <laughs> Maybe run let this run for about an hour, and then uh, maybe there'll be a part two or <clears throat> even a part three to this. Um, but you know, and we've simplified our rating criteria, so now we have a likey, uh, just the likey metric. And basically, what we're gonna, you know, the likey metric is gonna be is like, is a thumbs up or thumbs down, All right? Thumbs up or thumbs down on was this more important than fixing measure totals in Power BI? Um, so let's go, let's let's go again, go ahead and get to it. Now, this incremental refresh for Power BI Pro. It has like I don't know why it didn't. I it took me a long time to pull all of these because the Power BI Idea site is not Idea site is not the easiest thing to work with. Um, but I finally was managed to pull all of these through, um, and I, don't, I have no idea. That, but then I went to the completed ideas, you know, ranks them according to highest votes, I guess. Uh, and some for some reason this one's not on here, but maybe we'll find it somewhere deeper as we go through this. Uh, but incremental refresh in Power BI Pro. See, you know, anything that is going to be, it's not adding any functionality, it's just switching licensing. We're going to give that a thumbs down um, because, you know, it's not adding, really adding anything. Uh, so, Power Pagination Reports, please make available in Power BI Premium. Pagination Reports, make available in Power BI Premium. There we go. Uh, again, this is kind of just changing licensing, and it, you know, they didn't really actually do this, right? They made it available via PPU. Uh, so we're also going to give that one a thumbs down. Uh, scheduled report, scheduled export of report to PDF. Now that is a pretty important uh, thing to have. Um, obviously, a lot of people like this idea, but more important than fixing measure totals and basically, uh, you know, self-service BI is broken because you know to a large extent because of this. So I don't know. I you know. Uh, that is an enterprise feature. We're going to give that a thumbs up. Say sure. For enterprise customers, yeah. Sparkline, you know, that's a nice to have. So no, I mean, sparklines are nice and they're pretty and all. Allow table and data exports to match Power BI visual. And uh, match the formatting created and match the formatting. Did they really complete this? Public preview. I mean, export the data versus having Power BI work. Uh, thumbs down. Additional formatting for, I mean, come on, anything involving like formatting? No, no, you know, they just make it look pretty. When will the KPI red, yellow, green indicators be available on the desktop? Yeah, see, these are out of order somehow, so I don't know where these are. That yeah, doesn't matter. We'll find them eventually. When will the KPI red, yellow indicators be available on Power BI desktop? You know, I, no. Um, Allow slices to apply to all pages of a report. Now that is a pretty handy feature, I must say. We're going to give that one a thumbs up. Decomposition tree visualization type. Mm, you know, there's probably a third party visualization out there anyway. And it's just another visual. And I don't really, I mean, the decomposition tree is interesting, but it's not that interesting. Uh, create multiple apps from the same workspace. There it is. Create multiple apps from the same workspace. Um, you know, uh that's a pretty that's a pretty important thing um create multiple apps from the same workspace you know i to give that one a thumbs up print option from power bi desktop wait does that does that even exist i mean you can always print from the service so you know we're gonna give that one a thumbs down add multiple columns sort feature add a multiple columns sort feature again this has been implemented as of march 2020 
OK, yes, I mean, but is that really that's an awful nice to have, man. Matrix plus my mi plus minus collapse buttons. <sighs> Come on. I mean, again, I mean, really? Allow copy and paste between different PBX files. You know, that is a pretty handy feature. We gave that with thumbs up. Connectivity to Google Sheets. Again, you know, it's it's a connectivity option. It, more important to implement, you know, a piece of connectivity to Google Sheets than, you know, does it expand the user base? Maybe. I don't know. Tables and PDF files. I know a lot of people like that. Um, the ability to parse PDFs. And again, I, yeah, I can't find it over here. I'm not sure why it's not sorted correctly, but uh, tables and PDF files, man. I know a lot of people wanted that. Um, but again, it's just another import format. More important than something that basically precludes you from doing self-service BI? I don't think so. Column level security for reports. That was always the thing. I had a, I had a blog article that about that on how to do that. And they implemented that via object level security, um, which is a bad implementation in my opinion, because really all it does is just breaks the visual. <laughs> you don't have access to something. Uh, so I'm going to give that a no. I'm going to say that no. That's not a good. It's, there was a solution for it um, without them implementing object level security. And when they implement object level security, it's kind of a broken thing. Custom viz access to the previous levels in a drill down. So custom visuals being able to access previous levels in the drill down. You know, that is a thing that I th I think, oddly enough, I think this was actually, I'll give this one a thumbs up. Um, I think custom visuals are a big part of the Power BI community um, and culture. And, you know, that, and that enables a lot of those to be a lot better, right? On the fence about it, but we're going to go with it. Pivot tables and breakdown trees. Pivot tables, pivot tables, and breakdown trees. Hmm. I mean, you always had pivot tables, sort of, with matrix visual. So, I don't know, man. Not quite sure what it is, so we're just going to give the old thumbs down. Visual level filtering in slicers. Visual level filtering in slicers. That was always kind of in slicers. Uh, more important than... Mm, than fixing something that's broken. You know, it is a nice thing. Um, you know, let's give that a thumbs up. Slideshow in full screen TV mode. No, no, I don't think so. Power reports and dashboard on-premise hosting. Okay, so this must have been before the implementation of PBRS, P PB, Power BI report server, I'm assuming. In dashboard, it still doesn't support dashboard. You know, but again, sure, on premise hosting, I don't find it valuable, but sure. Custom branding color scheme of dashboard, custom CSS. So this is theming. Ah, uh, you know, I mean, again, it's just visually, what does it look like? It's not fixing anything. Composite models when connected to AS model, Power Yet, you know, this is a huge, this is a huge feature. Give that a big thumbs up. Uh, embed in SharePoint Office 365. You know, if you include Teams in that and that sort of thing, and you get reports to the end users in a form that they like, sure, we're going to give that a thumbs up. Drill down or should drill or cross filter other visualizations. Drill down should cross filter or other visualizations. Sure, that would be expected behavior. Give it another thumbs up. We're on a roll here. Python script in Power BI. You know, you have to wonder how many. It is useful. Um, you know, this, this is probably, I think they implemented R first and then Python, but so you already had R. And Python's kind of meh as a language. I, I mean, in some, you know what? If you already had one, you already had R, you know, sure, maybe I have Python help some people out, but how many people actually use that feature? Probably about 2,000. Machine learning models for pro users. Okay, now we're back to here. Please extend machine learning to pro users, small medium businesses. Uh, again, that's just changing license type. So that's a thumbs down. Uh, create different slicers. What does that even mean? 
create different slicers. So it's not even, we don't even know where it is, exists. Don't know. Hmm. Create different slicers. You know, that's something that could be solved by third parties. So I don't think just adding different slicers is really that important compared to fixing measure totals. Analysis by date time. View date by year, month, day of week, time of day, etc. Okay, this was implemented by the relative date slicer, which is pretty nice. Um, I'm assuming that's what they're talking about here. But you could always do this, right, with different slicers. We could create the slicer. So, I mean, just making it nicer. Oh, yeah, no. Nah. Our PowerPoint integration. I never understood this. Uh, the fascination with this. Um, if you want to know PowerPoint, take screenshots and copy and paste it in, right? <laughs> I, you know, this made it nicer for people, I guess. But, uh, you know, you can still always do it. Share with externals outside. That's a big, that's a big, that's a big thumbs up there. Pass filters and URLs. And that's like for paginated report server. I think uh, you can all... You can also do that in the service. I don't remember a time you couldn't do that in the service. But is everybody going to use that one? No. Powered BI desktop auto update. Again, that's a nice to have. Uh, integrate SSRS reports. You know, we're going to go with the thumbs up on getting paginated reports in there. Download reports to, uh, you know, that's another thumbs up. You know, download them to a PBX file. That should always be uh, capable. Copy paste from Power BI desktop. And that seems like a another one but yeah that should definitely be able to do that although again you know you could always take screenshots and just cut and you know well anyway slicer hierarchy that is a nice feature but more important more important than than measure totals i, I can't say that it is top end filters you could always do that in dax I and mean, they made it a little nicer with the filters pane so <laughs> Uh, conditional formatting, cell, highlight, font, conditional format compared to multiple. You know, again, this is a formatting thing. The, the conditional formatting is nice, right? They've added a lot of that functionality, but focusing on conditional formatting versus fixing measure totals. Again, it's just a, it's just a visual thing. Totals in stacked column charts. Ha, <laughs> ha, We're going to give, it deals with totals, so we'll give it a thumbs up. <laughs> These actually work. These actually work. All right. Ability to select multiple items in a report for cross highlighting. I never, I don't remember when that wasn't a thing. That's interesting. Um, but yeah, you know what? That's three thumbs up in a row. Export to PowerPoint. <laughs> no, no PowerPoint. Uh, send report or dashboard as an email. So that's your subscription feature. You know, I guess the boomers, man, the boomers got a habit. Say no to boomers. All right, change column labels, names in the visual. Change column labels, names in the visual. Again, I don't remember when you couldn't do that. Um, that is a pretty important feature, actually. I use that all the time. Heat maps in PowerView. It deals with Excel. No. Drill to a report page. Drill to a report page. That is a handy thing. Single selection slicer. Yeah, you almost. I think you still have to do that in tabular editor. No, no, no. That's that's a different thing. Um, this is like you can only select a single slicer. Is what I'm assuming this is talking about. Yeah, you know, just educate. You know, a little education on your users. Uh, all right. Matrix measures or values on rows instead of columns. That is a handy thing. Allow the creation of the theme pack. Again, it's just, you know, you're making it prettier. Organizing measures in the categories using folders. Uh, tens or even hundreds, of, you know, I got to say that that is probably a nice thing. Uh, combine enterprise gateway and online data sources. That was always an annoying thing. You could always use the personal gateway for it, but obviously the enterprise gateway should support that. Can we get three in a row? Add a snap to grid like functionality. You know, no. Send refresh failure notifications to distribution list. 
Okay, sure. But more important than broken functionality. Now, export Power BI Desktop to CSV Excel. No. Text wrap in tables card. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I'd say. Add clear all filters button to power. Oh, it deals with Excel. So no. Um, <laughs> dynamic parameters for what if analysis. That is a pretty cool feature. Um, I will give that a thumbs up. Searchable slicer. We like that one. SQL Server Analysis Services Cubes. SQL Server Analysis Services Cubes. Cubes. We even we don't have that listed here. It's hiding somewhere in the, in the list. SQL Server Analysis Services Cubes. I thought you could always connect to those. But I mean, again, if I'm just basing this on that feature that didn't exist, yes, I would give that a thumbs up. So we're three in a row now. Personalized bookmarks. You know, I got to say that we got four. Export Excel. Nope. Excel, Excel, thumbs down. Create calculated measures on top of a live SSAS connection. OK, so they did that via direct query, right? So that is, we'll give that a thumbs up. That's really cool functionality. New functionality, sync slicers in custom visuals. In custom visual visualizations. No. I mean, sync slicers, yes. In custom visuals, I'm not. This should already, if, you, if you're already syncing the slicer to it, and the custom visual should support it. I, I don't get that one. But so we're just going to give it a thumbs down. Add filter in data view. Add filter in data view Power BI desktop. Add filter. You didn't, you know, OK, sure. All right. I agree with that. Additional font formatting, bold, underline, italic. You're just making it look pretty. SSR supports for drill down into detailed reports. We're going to support paginated reports. Uh, add forecasting feature. OK, whether they did this well or not. But more important versus just writing the DAX for it. Now, connect to data flows from Excel's Power Query. Nope, involves Excel. <laughs> SQL Server on-prem database. I feel like this one, SQL Server on-prem database, SQL Server on-prem database. And we don't, we can't find it in our sorted list here, so. SQL Server on-prem database. I mean, you should support that, right? I guess we have to give that a thumbs up. Subscribe others to emails of reports. It's a nice feature, but I don't think it's a must have. Group objects. Group objects. So is this like, you can select visuals on the page and like group them together? I don't know what this is. Group objects, and it's not in our list here, is it? No. Nope. So maybe we'll find it later on and we can come back and change it. We're getting the thumb down for now. Better date range filters. You know, that is nice, but mm. increase the data export limit. Power BI, again, this is we're exporting stuff. And Power BI report server. Ah, just go get it from the source, man. Dynamic rule level security for Power BI report server. Dynamic rule level security. I agree with that. That's an important thing. Usage statistics. Eh. Drill to details. View row date level data. Drill to deep. I don't know what that means. We're giving it a thumbs down. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. All right. Chart view details with ex export to Excel again. Nope. 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 Ability to connect Excel to Power BI data model and create pivot tables. And so again, it's Excel. I don't care about Excel. Dynamic date slicer. Dynamic date. Did they really put in a dynamic date date slicer? Did they? More important? No. Share reports in Power BI. Couldn't you always do that? That better be a feature. Embed visualizations in an external web page. You know, I, I would agree with that. Private published, <clears throat> private published to web. I use the published web feature a lot. 
uh, more important, not more important, but it's certainly not private. I'm not sure how that's actually been implemented, but OK. Conditional formatting in tables. Yes, OK, fine. We're going to we will accept conditional formatting in tables, right? We will say even though it's just making things prettier, that is a nice general feature functionality. We'll, we'll, we'll accept it. Drill through is that oh, we have to four. Can we get to five? Drill through that considers slicer filter context of a parent visual. I thought that was always a thing. I thought that was always a thing, but but yeah, that should be a thing. Improve the advanced query editor. Did they? <laughs> I don't think they did. It's not that great even today. Uh, but maybe, I guess it added IntelliSense maybe or something. Whew. Oh, it's still a nightmare. Timeline slicer for date, month, quarter. You, you know, I mean, timeline slicer. That was always available as a third party. Uh, power map. Ability to publish power maps on SharePoint or as, you know, that's a, that is an Excel thing. So no. Uh, add full formatting capabilities like in MS Excel. Did they really? I'm going to give that a no. Just making things prettier. Copy screenshot of visual to clipboard. That's the same thing as like. It seems like that's a duplicate. But should you be able to, should you be able to copy a visual to somewhere else? Yes, yes, you should. Tool tip customization on reports. You know, I don't think that's fully implemented yet today. I mean, I think it is if you do report page tool tips, which are cool. And I would agree that that is a really cool feature. Uh, customization of email subscription schedule. You know, really? I mean, OK. Percent of total. Well, you can always get that with a DAX calculation, so we're going to say no. Just made it easier. Export to PDF via Power BI embedded API. How many people really use that? Capability to show high total column in waterfall chart. More important than actually having correct totals? No. Allow proper printing of dashboards. Meh. Better control over the shapes, text box, and images. Again, just making things prettier. Allow hyperlinks on the images. Again, more important. It does add certain functionality, but you could always. Now we're gonna have to give it a thumbs down. Ability to align the column content. Align the columns content. Didn't know that you couldn't do that. Um, like right, left. Justification, things like that. I mean, really nice to have. Ability to mark some pages as do not publish in Power BI desktop. Well, they give you the ability to hide them. I do agree that that is an important feature. So here's our, all right, we finally reached our 691. This is the only non-completed feature in the list. Uh, so this is where we're at. So I wonder, I wonder, what happens if we were to take a look at all the thumbs up that we gave? OK, how many of these do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. We have 40, exactly 40. And we're about we're about the halfway point uh, in an hour. Uh, so we have exactly 40 things that have more votes than what we currently have with table matrix and table visualizations fixing the, uh, the grand total, the totals. And so how many things did we. Did we say. Oh, well, we should be able to get the we should be able to do the math. 102 minus 40, so we have about 60. Around 60 things that had more votes uh, we gave the thumbs down on. All right. Well, let's keep going. Because uh, the real, you know, so maybe that maybe that's what it, we're going to see as we go through this, that uh, it'll be like 40% of the ideas um, we would have completed before fixing measure, measure totals and 60% not. Um, but let's find out. So the only way we're going to find that out is to keep on going. Ability to add feedback or questions on dashboard. Add feedback or questions on dashboard. We'll give it a thumbs up. Hyperion S space. Nope. 
just adding again SharePoint lists as a data source. Just data sources, man. Just data sources. Disable or prevent teams from auto creating app workspace. You know, that whole app, the whole app workspace and that whole thing was just totally kind of, well, originally. Mm, mm. No. Allow more than one data source for direct queries. So they did that with composite models. That is a very important feature. Export current theme as a JSON file. Mm -hmm. No, I can't give that a thumbs up. Dynamically specify data color using column, for example, blah, 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 blah. Eh. Save user filters on reports. You know, the whole persistent filter stuff, very cool. Auto refresh data in Power BI desktop. Did they really implement that? We're not really keeping up over here. We haven't really had too many questions. So auto refresh data in Power. There must be an option to refresh data through schedule. Through schedule in Power. This was shipped in through a schedule. Did they really? Did they really release that on a schedule? Oh, they're talking about page page refresh. You know, that is pretty important for like displaying reports and we'll give it a thumbs up. Okay, I understand what that is now. Data flows, direct query. Hmm. Data flows are pretty important. We got three thumbs up in a row. Independent data little controls in combo charts. Yeah. Flaps app navigation pane. You know, really? Come on. Come on. Hide filters for shared reports or prevent user from changing filters. Uh, yeah, we'll give it a thumbs up. REST API to read data sets. You know, REST APIs and all that, but who? how many people really, really use those? Ability to grab data from survey. It's just another data set, data source. Set colors and conditional formatting in visuals. Set colors and conditional formatting. I feel like this was a duplicate. So I think we gave that one a thumbs up because it was like general. So we'll do that. Copy data to clipboard. Give it a thumbs up. Short URL with display text. Short URL. Short URL with display text. Of course, we don't have it. Short URL with display text. Don't know what that means, so we're giving it a thumbs down. Integrate Power BI with pivot tables. It's called a matrix. I think it already existed. Um, allow visual header control per visual. Allow visual header control per visual. Hmm. No. Formatting. Change X and Y axis labels manually, similar to Excel. Wow. Some of this stuff is really taking me back. Like, did it really not support these things at one point? Holy smokes. Oh. Oof. Uh. Yeah, I mean, you better have control over that stuff. We'll give it a thumbs up. Add folders to organize fields. So that is, I think that's a duplicate, but we gave it a thumbs up the last time. Ability to click and drag to select multiple visuals. Versus just holding down the control key and selecting things. I mean, really, I mean, come on, it is a nice thing, but. Ability to share data sets or connection to other users. That's the implementation of data flows. Service, service now, just service now. Custom visuals enabled every time Power BI desktop launches. That's more of an annoyance feature that they're fixing. Sync hierarchy slicers across multiple. Again, this is this is sync slicers functionality, which is important. Export, there's another export data to Excel. No, you can copy it to the clipboard. We we gave that a thumbs up. You can copy it to the clipboard and paste it in Excel, All right? But this whole export into Excel thing, no, we're not going to go with that one because it involves Excel. Display total value of a bar chart bar on a stacked bar chart. Hey, displaying correct totals, we're all about it. All about 
all about it, even though this is a duplicate. A lot of configurable gap width between columns, bars. OK, this is just making it look better. Font color and background color and text box. You know. Again, I mean. Doing things that make things look better. Yes, I mean, that's important. But versus fixing something that's actually. Impossible to do today in all scenarios. I mean, I don't in some scenarios, I don't get it. Then add trend line of charts. The the whole analytics pane is pretty nice, but if you really wanted to do this, you could do it yourself with a DAX measure. So now, move measures between tables in new modeling view. Move measures between table. So moving the home page of the home is a nice feature, but you know what? <clears throat> Should have put them in the right table to begin with. Improve relationship drag and drop experience. OK, you can still do it, no matter if you like the experience or not. Show email address or username and usage metrics uh, for dashboards and reports. And, you know, usage metrics or not. Discard query changes. Discard query changes. Discard query changes. Isn't that just Xing out? I don't know. We're giving it a thumbs down. Enable user to navigate from one Power BI report to another. So is this the implementation of cross report drill through? Which is a cool feature. And I'm not sure how many people use it. I'm not sure how many people use it. I think that 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 could have waited before fixing measure totals. Disable hides visual border on hover. Come on. Change font size for X. No, I access really you never could do that, but fine. We're still going to go to. Thumbs down publish date. You could always do that. You always do that in Power Query. So now that it just displays the publish date up at the top by default in the service, you know, nice to have. Ability to lock, unlock editing of visualizations on a page. It is a nice feature, but could it have waited? Yes. Customize all fonts with JSON. Could it have waited? Yes. Support for hierarchies. I thought it always supported hierarchies, but I may be mistaken, but we like hierarchies. SQL Azure connector with Azure AD auth, oddly specific. Print and export embedded reports through REST, oddly specific. Snowflake connector. Nope, it's a connector. URL access to report. URL access to report. URL access. You always had that. Hold the service. But yes, OK, I'm just, I'm just going to let me get some help here. URL discard query changes. We, uh, apply now or apply later. Yeah, that's OK. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> you always do that. Publish date. OK, yeah. Um, ability, OK, URL access to report must be on the next page if we can find it. Rest table snowflake connector improve. No, of course, it just skips right on by it. I don't know where some of these missing. Some of these missing uh, ideas are, man. Um, Maybe they're just somewhere stuck in the middle somewhere. Add alignment resistioning sizing controls for Power BI view report designers. Add alignment positioning and sizing controls for Power BI slash view report designers. That was always there. But yes, that would be an important thing to have. Table filter. I don't know what that means. It means you can fill our table. You can always fill our table. But OK, well, if we look at it from the perspective of should you be able to filter a table? Sure, you should be able to filter a table. Customize chart and access titles. Yeah, you should be able to do that if you like that's a duplicate. More flexible conditional formatting. OK, so they added conditional formatting and then you want more. OK, you already have it. More can wait. Optionally remove focus mode box. OK, that's. Improved performance and MMX queries using analyze. That, that is oddly specific. You can give that a no. Need a way to test a dashboard before releasing to production. So this would be the implementation of pipelines. 
The answer is deployment pipelines. So deployment pipelines are good. Lock elements. Uh, you don't have to. Export the dashboard view to formats like PDF, Word. I mean, come on. No. Enable custom visualization warning suppression. No. Create DAX measures fields and tables in direct query mode. That is important. Import a tabular model into Power Pivot and other Power BI or and or import. That was always a thing. It seems like I have a hard time voting for things that are like we're always there. Import a tabular model into. I, we're gonna give it a thumbs up. I, you know, I'm trying to be gen as generous as I can here. Ability to pin custom visualizations to dashboards. I so I feel like that's an important thing. I got three thumbs up going on in a row. Dynamic conditional formatting. Yeah, I mean, it's formatting. Option to use comma as list separator and dot as decimal point, regardless of locale settings. I feel that supporting supporting that kind of stuff is important. Turn off tooltip and remove default tooltip. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's more important. Adding, see, adding, see, this is another duplicate, you know, where you adding a hide the page option. Yes, I think that's it's important. ArcGIS geo databases. ArcGIS. I don't know where it went. ArcGIS Geo Databases. It's a connector. We're not voting for connectors. Proper scorecarding. You know, we're going to vote for the scorecards. Auto refresh, frequently auto refresh should be more than once a day, allow hourly or multiple times. More important, probably. DAX editor in Power BI Designer. Huh. DAX editor in Power BI, it was always there. Did I somehow like get like stuff that like. Yes, if you need to have a DAX editor in Power BI design. OK, All right, we'll go with it. Microsoft Teams is a data source, not voting for data, data sources. Use Power BI desktop as a local server on a PC. Use Power BI desktop as a local server on a PC. With the external tools integration, users can now connect various tools. OK, so this is so I would say, yes, yeah, supporting external tools is definitely something that you would want to have. Allow in place data model refresh in embedded Power BI. Wow, huh? We'll give it a thumbs up. Change order of filters in filter paint. I mean, come on, people really. Conditional formatting based on a different measure. Conditional formatting based on a different measure. OK, we already voted for conditional formatting. Now you want to base it on a different measure. I'm going to say that can wait. Full screen mode for Power BI SharePoint web. And let me even use that. No, export Power BI hidden hidden pages. OK, you can already export. We're, we're, not, we're not doing that one. Filter charts in mobile app, iPhone, Android. I don't think I'm going to vote for anything phone based. I really don't. Uh, you have a mobile app, so good for you. Use it. Um, more important, fixing things there. It's probably a different product group altogether. Bookmark groups. Bookmark groups. That is nice, but it's not necessary. Map dot bubble size should scale properly and again, so make it make it prettier. Esri ArcGIS maps in Power BI report server. You know, what? we're going to give that one a thumbs up. Support for custom maps. I agree. Dynamics nav. That's a data source. We're not supporting data sources. Multi select option for mobile users. Mobile users. Time spacer at time level. That's the implemented. You know, again, you could always do that. Uh, the improved, the improved uh, slicer for that just made it a little nicer. Relative time slicer exists. Yep. 
Hide non Power BI workspaces from left menu. Non 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 Power BI workspaces. Oh, that's back when the oh the Office 365 and all that. That was miserable. I'll have to give that a yes. Power BI app for Android tablets. Sure, we'll vote for that, even though it is mobile, but while mixing direct query and imported tables in a single, I feel like we've already voted for this, but yes, we'll vote for it again. Copy text from slicers and tables. And we, again, I think we already voted for this. Tool tips for buttons. Come on, no. It is nice, but no. Subscription be modified by multiple subscription to be modified by multiple members. Oh, here it is right here. Now have the ability to view, edit, and take over all subscriptions in their workspace. Ah, oh, that's what it's talking about. That's probably kind of important. Go data feed. Go data feed. Oh, data feed should be, it's it's a connector. Support connector. Ability to wrap text in visual in visual titles. We agree with wrapping text. That's important. Can't just have it just go off and never never land. Drop down and or tree list global filter. Drop down and or tree list global filter. And it's nowhere to be found. Hmm. Drop down and or tree list global filter. So is that a filter like on all pages? We're going to give it a thumbs up. SharePoint online document library. No. Jira, no. Pass filter in URL. You see, I mean, no. Wait, did we vote for this one before and say yes? Probably need to say yes. Click and drag to select multiple objects and allow nudge, nudge, nudge. No. Dotted lines in line charts. Kind of nice, but necessary, no. Pie chart percentage labels, kind of nice. You don't use pie charts. Nested X axis labels. <sighs> sure. Delegated admin for Power BI. Delegated admin for Power BI. Delegated admin. You see it anywhere? No. Delegated admin. Deals with administration. We're going to give it a yes, even though we don't fully understand it. Tooltip for matrix and table visual. Thought that was a thing, but really, if it wasn't, it's a table. Even now, it's implemented pretty poorly. Uh, except for report page tooltips. So if that response, if that deals with report page tooltips for that, we're going to give it a yeah. bookmark for Power BI app for Power BI app. Bookmark for Power BI app. I don't know. You even know. Oh, connector. You know, we'll change this one to a yes. Uh, Power BI integrated in SharePoint. Yeah, they did that, and that was bad. And at SharePoint. Increased data size limit from 250 megabytes per, per, from 204 Pro. I agree with that. More data is better. Clear all filters. To improve that, you know what? Or get anything time and anything to improve time intelligence, we would generally vote yes for. But whatever they did to fix that didn't fix it because time intelligence is still terrible. Bookmark toggle retain, so they shouldn't even work on it. Bookmark toggle retain slicer selection. I agree with that. Support for report drill through functionality on Power BI mobile. But again, you know, in this one, yeah. You know, but better, more important than measure tools, we're, we're going to be generous. We'll say, yeah. Support for report drill through functionality on Power BI mobile apps. More important? No. Add support for role in Snowflake. No. Vector. Conditional formatting in Matrix. We already voted for some conditional formatting stuff up ahead, just specifically for Matrix. No. 
Uh, ArcGIS embed public share. No. Add custom hierarchy feature. I forgot that that never existed. That didn't used to exist. I'm pretty sure it did. Export to power. Another export to PowerPoint. Stop. Publish to a Power BI. Publish a Power BI roadmap. You know, doesn't improve the product. Approval process for gateways prevent personal gateways. Ooh, more important. I don't think it's more important. Ah, it is administration related. It is enterprise related. We'll give it a thumbs up. SQL Azure. Is that a connector? If it's, but it's SQL. It is SQL. We'll give that connector a thumbs up. Initial form with fixed colors, not scale colors. Please bring back test as role in Power BI service. I'm pretty sure that's that's always been there. I know there were some changes around there. You can definitely do test as role from say no. Identify Power BI Pro content. That was always a thing. I'm not sure how important that is. Hourly refresh. We will say yes. Twitter analytics. Did they really fix that? Be able to direct users to a specific dashboard with URL. Thought that was always a thing. More important. I don't think it's more important. That I don't think it's more important. Connect multi-dimensional. Let's see how we're doing on time. We're gonna have to. Yeah, we've only gotten through about two hundred of these, and we got a thousand. So we got about ten minutes left in the hour. Connect multi-dimensional to SQL Server standard license. That seems like it has nothing to do with anything. We're going to vote it down. Enable custom data refresh intervals. Custom data refresh intervals. Whatever. Ability to change the data source current connection string from Power BI service. Data source connection string from the Power BI service. Can you really do that today? There are a couple ways to achieve this, including parameters, the REST API, and deployment pipelines. Yeah. Hmm. More important? No. Slider, slicer for values. Slider, slicer for values. I don't think that's more important. Ah, dynamic CRM custom field and entity support. You know, we're going to say yes on that one. And even though it's a connector, support for other data sources, direct query using gateway or embedded Power BI. So that's the composite model feature. And that we agree with that. Seems like we're voting for the same thing multiple times. That's OK. Collaborate and build team dashboards. Of course, it's missing. Collaborate and build team dashboards. Hmm. Seemed like that was always a thing. Parquet format for direct import from Azure Blob Stories. But edit queries option in PowerBI.com. So that's your data flows now, essentially. Data set settings and parameters are available to configure while Power BI service today. So, yeah, if you can add them in the desktop, I mean, Power SAP VW, no. Apply the same filter across multiple pages. Again, it seems like we have, uh, we'll say yes on that one. Uh, Power BI desktop reports to publish reports to group workspace, not just personal workspace. Uh, I, I don't remember when that wasn't a thing. Um, but yes, if we just look on its face, should it support that? Sure. Disable auto time intelligence. I think that was always a, the ability to wait. Available in Power BI. No, it was. Oh, well, we will agree with that one because auto time intelligence is terrible. Add alerts. Eh, come on. It's just Android. Power BI direct connector to ALD. Oddly, the connector that is oddly specific. 
Rename totals. Yes, we agree. We can give that one two thumbs up because they're not totals. Save Power BI report to report server with data source other than analysis services. Was that a thing? But yeah, okay, again, look at it on its face. If that wasn't a thing, it should have been a thing. Extort table and matrix as is. No, that's an enhancement. Pagination in table, in pagination in table reports. Pagination in table reports. Yeah, that was that's paginator report. So I don't. We're gonna give that one a thumbs down. Disable export data function in Power BI embedded. That's probably pretty important. Export from embedded iframe. Okay, it has the word iframe in it, so no. Prompts the user before creating a hierarchy when fields are dragged onto each other. Yeah, no. Add QA capability for data sets based on analysis services, tabular models. Okay, nobody uses QA. Literally no one. Invert access display values. Invert access display values. In some cases, let's say school grades. Give me one. Invert the Y axis exists today within the format segments. So. 181 people voted for something that exists. So we're going to say no. JSON data source. Hmm. It's a data source. Set email alerts in the web interface. Set email alerts in the web interface. Yeah, we're going to vote for that one. Postgres, you know, data, it's a data source. Nope, nope, nope. Subscribe to multiple snapshots of entire reports. You know, set up multiple snaps, set up multiple subscriptions, man. Offline mobile app capabilities. Like what? Put that one down. Filter bookmarks. Filter, filter bookmarks. Filter bookmarks. I don't know what that is. Slicer overall pages. We've we know we voted that one before. Export Power BI visual matrix to Excel without the data being tabulated vertically. Again, we're exporting to Excel. Web.contents support scheduled refresh even with dynamic URL. That is oddly specific. Pin slicers to the dashboard. That's not really was the intended purpose of dashboards. Uh, let's see now. Connect to live data in Snowflake from the Power BI. Connect to live data in Snowflake from the Power BI. You know, it's just a connector, people. Line graph filterability. Line graph filterability. No. Natiza. <laughs> I love these one word. Okay. Ability to pin KPI to dashboard. I always thought you could do that. But it's a dashboard. Nobody uses them anyway. Dynamic reference lines. Dynamic reference lines. No. Well, this is so the Noto, but oddly specific. Caribbean premium performance. It's just performance monitoring. Now runtime parameters in Power View or and or Power Query. You know what? We're going to change this one up. Uh, allow runtime parameters in Power View and or Power Query. Runtime parameters. We will say yes. I understand what those are. Allow users outside organization to receive subscription email. That is an awfully a nice to have. Our visuals in Power BI service. Those are nice. It adds a lot of functionality. I'm not sure how many people use them. Not voting for data connectors. Drill down support on mobile phones. It's mobile phones. Restrict export to Excel. I mean, that we voted for that before. Yes, you should be able to restrict that sort of stuff. 
sharing dashboards from Power BI Premium with free users. That's like the functionality, right? Of course, we don't have it. But yes, if it didn't exist, we would vote for it. Oops. There we go. On premises CRM dynamics, it's a data source. Go through page for transaction details or C records. So yes, drill through, we would vote for drill through. CSV files, it always supported CSV files. We're gonna vote down, it's, yeah. we'll vote this one up. Okay, we're not gonna vote all data connections down. Make filters that can apply across all pages in a report. I feel like, I feel like we voted that one up before. Power BI for Windows Phone, well, I love my Windows phone, by the way. Um, it's still one of my favorite phones of all time. Data labels for charts. Data labels for charts. I would, you know, charts should have data labels. Add a subscription to a dashboard. Eh, we will vote for that. Certification exam for Power BI, whatever. Add report page tool tips to publish to web. Add report page tool tips to publish to web. Really, I mean, it's published to web, people. Don't expect too much. Add option to duplicate page in Power BI desktop. Hmm. <laughs> I would agree with that one. Change data category of measure. Wow, that used to not be a thing. Interesting. But more important. No, that would be more important. Hmm. <sighs> Allow Excel online to connect to a Power BI data source via Analyze in Excel. You know what? We will vote for this Excel feature, okay? Stop hounding me, Excel users. Pivot tables via Analyze in Excel. That one we will say no to. No, no to. Drill up or down on individual graphs online. I always thought that was a thing, but if it wasn't sure, Power Platform Admin Portal. We will agree with that one. Enable specific security groups setting for published, again, published web people don't expect too much. Google Analytics, data source. All right, we're gonna get to 300 and then we will, we will call it part one. Export data limit to increase to 100,000. No, ability to group and layer visuals. It is nice, but nice to have is what it is. <laughs> Independent and full control for mobile version of report. It's mobile. Include report filters in drill through action. Include report filters in drill through action. Again, I feel like we voted for that already. The ability to share a dashboard with a group. Yeah, we'll vote for that. Gantt charts. <clears throat> Gantt charts. I still don't think they have Gantt charts. That's third party visuals that do that. General tooltip or info tip for for visuals. We'll vote for that. JavaScript. What does that mean? Just the word JavaScript. Do we have it? No, of course it's missing. Why? JavaScript. How visual power BI custom visuals are Created. All right, last one for this part. Bring the description property from SSAS models through as a tool tip. For enterprise users, maybe that's a good thing, but more important than, than actually having something that works. Don't think so. All right, so that is gonna do it for part one of this, uh, this presentation, obviously. We've gotten through, I guess, maybe around a quarter of them. So we'll try to pick up the pace uh, for the next two. And that means that we're going to have another uh, potentially four of these. So I will uh, see, see everyone later. Um, and if you want to vote for measure totals, you know, the link's in the description.